Right, Scorchers fans, here we are out the furnace preparing for our match against the Stars on Wednesday night, and it's a semi final. And uh, we've just finished training, Fonz. The training session this morning, quite good? Yeah, no, it was quite tough actually. Um, and it was very hot out there, but you know, it's one of the things that have to be done, really. Now, it's one of those things that has to be done, as you, as you said, but uh, five o'clock game, we are going to feel a bit of heat out night. Do you think this preparation has been good for us? Yeah, no, it's going to be a scorch out there, you know, and. Um, you know, we're obviously looking forward to it and we hope it's going to be a good crowd in and um, and we hope we get the same result as last year. Now, should we be taking the Stars lightly? They've got probably five or six players out on Australian duty and injury. Um, how, how do you see their line-up at the moment? No, it's the, they're a dangerous team. You know, you get the likes of Warnie. It's going to obviously rev the guys up for the game on Wednesday night. So they'll be well and truly up for it and I don't think there's any way that we're going to underestimate them. Well, they haven't got Malinga as well. Should the batsmen, uh, have, they, have they got any other bowling that we should be worrying about? Yeah, no, obviously not having Malinga in does does make a big difference if you obviously take into account what he did against us in the second game here. Um, I still think they've got a decent bowling attack. You look at the likes of Jackson Bird, he's obviously confident, you know, just coming off a test, a couple of caps. So um, get a guy like James Faulkner did well here a couple of games ago. Yeah, so I think our batters have got to be on the button really, but I, I, I certainly don't fear them. Now Luke Wright, he's probably a, a, a massive key for the uh, stars in this particular fixture with both bat and ball. How are we going to uh, operate him with the bat? I reckon he's just got to leave right it to me. Um, you know we've had a few, obviously a few games in England um, and I have got him out a few times so I would like to do it again on Wednesday night just, just to obviously have one on him. <laughs> Now we've got uh, we've also got Brad Hodge and Kleine, um formal batting lineup, and uh, really in this form of the match, they, they might be depleted uh, in the, in that middle order. But it only takes three players to really put on a good score. Well, basically, it just takes a one player. If we look at the Heat game the other night, you know, and um, they only had the one batter that actually won in the game, and obviously the Stars have got quality match winners with a bat. You look at the likes of Kleine, Hodge has done it year in year out. So if we can take up um, as a bowling unit, we can take a few early wickets, put him on the back foot and have a look at White and the boys down the middle order. I'm sure that will stand us in good stead. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully getting a, a bowl out, Whitey. Um, <laughs> now, we, we had a good match against the Strikers. You played for them last year. What, how do you feel going into a semi-final in an Australian competition? I'm just feeling very excited about it, you know. If, and um, I've had two games here at the Furnace now, and the crowds have been fantastic. And I'm sure it's going to be no different on Wednesday night. So I'm, I'm, I'm well and truly looking forward to that. Now, talking about, you've only had two games here, but you've got a lot of support. Signs have already come up. Uh, Alfonso. Not as big as yours, Hodgie. You? Not as big as yours. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Now, how do you find it? You, did, did you get that sort of, um, sort of support from the, from the strikers? I definitely didn't get it from the boys in blue. No. Um, and. Um, I was just happy to make a difference yeah, at the Scorchers and, and yeah, and like I said, the crowds have been absolutely fantastic and I'm sure it's going to be no different when we come up against the Stars on Wednesday night. Now, what, what's probably been your best moment off the field living in West Australia? The best moment off the field, I think it's that little beach session we have at City Beach and you know, obviously coming from the UK where it's quite cold and wet at the moment, so that has been my highlight really. Well, you don't have any sharks because the, the water's too cold over in England. Uh, do, do, you, do you go to the beach a little bit scared of uh, our white pointers? I, I am very scared. I'm usually the one that's right at the back, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely not looking to be the first one into the water. I'm usually the first one out of the water. <laughs> do you realise that the shark doesn't actually uh, attack the first one? It goes to the, the middle man? <laughs> I've got no idea, but as long as it doesn't come for me, I'm more than happy with that. <laughs> well that's Alfonso Thomas, he's made the move from England just to uh, play with the Scorchers over the summer, he's had a great time, he's been a great influence to our younger players and we look forward to hopefully having some success over the finals and being able to contract Alfonso to come back to the fantastic furnace next year.